All right, so now that you know the basics of different body movements and the golden rules of climbing, now we're gonna go over how to actually hold on to things on the wall, how these holds are shaped, and how the wall formations are shaped, which change the style of climbing. All right, the first hold we're gonna talk about is what we call a jug. Uh, basically, it comes from the idea of like a milk jug handle, something you can wrap your entire hand around. This is basically what you want when you're really tired. You want something this big. If you notice, I can put my, almost my entire hand into here and just hold on. Really positive edge, a really good rest spot. So if you're ever climbing and you come across a jug, that's probably where you want to hold on and rest before the climbing gets more difficult. The next climbing hold you can come across is what we call a pinch. It literally sounds like what you're doing is you're going to grab over top and then your thumb plays an integral part in this hold is you're going to be pinching with this upward pressure of the thumb and that's what really locks you into the piece. Now this is a really positive tiny pinch. Sometimes you get some really wide, almost open hand pinches. So you're really gonna again grab with your fingers and then it all comes from the power of that thumb pushing in to give you the extra pressure to hold on to the hold. And finally, we're going to go over the most notorious hold on the wall, the sloper. Uh, by most climbers, it's the, the least desirable hold to come across. Just because this hold is different, it relies purely on friction, nothing about edges or anything to grab. So what you're trying to do is work with the angle of the hold. So here's my plane. I want to push directly against that angle to engage it. You're going to put much as your hand as you can on the surface, because again, it's all about friction and surface contact and try to keep your weight in against that angle. So really, on a sloper, friction as much as possible and really pull against that angle. And the next hold we're gonna go over is called a crimp. So this type of hold basically has an edge plane on top and then nothing else. So you're literally just placing your fingers on top trying to find that edge and pull directly down or whatever angle that hold is at. It's been a long debate about how to properly hold these holds. Some people, what they like to do to feel more comfort is they'll take their thumb and roll it on top of their fingers on the edge of the hold. Now what this does, it puts a really sharp bend in your finger tendons, making them more prone to overuse syndromes and wear and tear. So to reduce that and climb longer, what I really encourage is do an open hand crimp. This is where your fingers grab the edge, your hand is really relaxed, this allows just your fingers to engage, and you can put your thumb on the side for a little more support, but at all costs, avoid rolling your thumb on top of your fingers. So in route climbing, it's usually referred to having static movements. Now what that means is that when I'm gonna grab on something, I'm just going to reach and grab the next piece, and I'll demonstrate. So route climbing is here. You're going to statically reach and grab, Get your feet higher. Step up. So that's all considered static movement because it's really slow. 